Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie and I am the knitwear designer behind Twin Stitches Designs. Today we are episode 76 of the Twin Stitches Designs podcast. So excited as always to have you here and I hope you enjoy. Now if you love knitting and sharing all the things behind the scenes designs, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down below. Today we have uh, some fun items to share, brand new cast on, finished object, and a little bit of progress on a one of my patterns that I've been working on. I'm so, oh, friends, I may have finished it. Now I did promise last week that, you know, your girl may have finished and the goal was to finish my candy mountain blanket. And I may have done that, I may. Hey, just gonna tease that out there. Um, you can find me on in <clears throat> you can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as Julia Knitter. I will link everything I chat about down below this video. If you ever have any questions, please let me know. I would absolutely adore if you wanted to come and check out my incredible Patreon group. We are going to be hosting a amazing and fun make along coming September 1st. We're going to be having a fun kickoff party on August 31st. So come and join in the fun if you are interested at all. Today it is a beautiful day. Here in east coast of Canada, it feels like fall. Fall is here. I I'm you know, you know what? I'm here for it. Bring me all the pumpkin, all the spice. Are you a pumpkin spice lover? Let me know below. Or are you like, Julie, like, ain't happening, don't want to do it? Let me know below. I'm curious. I, years ago, I would have told you that I do not like pumpkin spice. I thought my husband was crazy when he was like, I want a pumpkin spice latte. Didn't really not understand why you would want like pumpkin and coffee. But now I get it. I get it. I love, love a good pumpkin spice latte in the morning. We do everything here with our own coffee machine because both me and my husband work from home. So it's no use of us, you know, paying seven, eight dollars for a drink when we can just do it here on our own um, with our coffee machine. So yes, I absolutely love it. I'm loving this cooler weather, loving the fall weather. So your girl, your girl's happy. Today I am wearing my stripe hype sweater that I test knit for Kika. This is, I will link my Ravelry project, excuse me, um, I will link my Ravelry project page down below. I knit this out of Knit Picks in the Capra, which is a DK weight, and the Eclipse Heather colorway, which is the dark um, gray, right here. And all of the contrast colors are Whitney of Moonglow, her fingering weight that I held double. So when you hold fingering weight double, depending on your needle size and your gauge, you can create a DK to worsted weight gauge. So that's exactly what I did for this, was that I mixed up some commercial yarns as well as a fun um, hand-dyed yarn. Oh, I could pet this sweater all day. It's one of my favorite ones. I'm obsessed with the color combination that I decided to go with. Really love it. I'll put full um, photos here of it. It's just one of those sweaters that I could live in. And it's also telling me that I want more stripey sweaters. I don't know what it is about it, but I feel like I want all the stripes. All different types of stripes. All of it. I feel like stash busting sweaters. Maybe in the future. Maybe. But yes, really, really love it. Um, and I will link that down below. The Margaret is wearing... Um, I figured we'd go with a Candy Mountain theme today. Because, like I said, Candy Mountain Blanket might be done. Uh, this is the Candy Mountain Cowl, which is, uh, I designed it last year out of the Whitney Moonglow Advent. And I used one skein of Cottonwood Breeze, which is this beautiful neutral. And then I used up all 24 different minis. I adore this cowl. I think it's one of my favorite... One of the favorite things I've designed up to date. It's incredible. So I think I graded it for uh, fingering and DK weight uh, for the cowl. And what's the amazing thing about this cowl is because it's knit in the round, you don't need to weave in all of those ends. You can kind of just tie them up and keep going. No, they will not come undone. Um, I did not weave in any ends on this cowl. The truth is coming out. Uh, but yes, I just adore this. I decided to go exactly as Whitney had it in her her advent, exactly how 
the colors. So this was her advent of last year. I adore this. Adore. Adore this cowl. It's one of my favorites. We also have, I wanted to mention, a 30% off sale going on right now for all of my knitting patterns. This is to celebrate 30,000 followers on Instagram, which still boggles my mind that there's 30,000 people following me on Instagram. Like, crazy. And um, yes, it's all organic. No, I don't pay for advertising. And no, I don't pay for followers. There's some people out there that are like, yeah, but you pay. I'm like, girl, I don't pay for nothing. Like, I don't have time or budget for that. Like, of trying to buy out followers and things. No. So it's, there is actually over 30,000 of you following me on Instagram, which can't believe it. Can't believe it. Still crazy. But thank you from the bottom of my heart. So to celebrate, I decided to put all my patterns 30% off this week. Use coupon code 30 off till Saturday, August 26. Are we? Whatever Saturday is, 11.59 p.m. ASD. So if you're watching this after, I apologize. Just make sure you hit my newsletter. Subscribe to the newsletter so you won't miss out on any of these fun sales and things. Um, also, Patreon. Patreon's the place to be. You get notified of everything. Just saying. But yes, 30% off all of my patterns, as well as the two courses I have. So I have two courses on Thinkific. If you did not know, how to knit your very first pair of socks and how to knit your very first pair of, or your pair? No, you're not gonna knit a pair of sweaters. How to knit your very first sweater. Both of those are also 30% off with coupon code 30 off at checkout. So I hope you go and shop the sale um, and all of your amazing support and I appreciate you. Thank you, friends. Okay, now let's dive into what I've actually finished. Da, 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 da. Friends, she's done. <gasps> okay, so this is way too big for me to show you. Now, yes, you will see a little bit of ends. It's because I actually wet blocked it last night. Yes, I threw it in a bunch of water. Um, I wanted to see how it was going to react with water, so I wet blocked it, and that just means that I took the entire item, smir submerged it in water with some wool wash, and I didn't have any bucket big enough, so I had to do it in my sink. I'll put a little video here I shared in my stories. Then I just put it outside, and it, it dried up in no time. It was beautiful and sunny yesterday, so we were able to. This pattern is going to be coming for the month of September. And it is, oh, it is massive. Again, I'm going to insert some footage here of the full blanket in all of its incredible glory because it is just too big for me to try and fit in this film. I used up five skeins for the main color. Um, I was getting this question. So five skeins of the main color and one skein each for the contrast colors. So I have five contrast colors and you need 10 skeins total and this is almost this is over a little over four feet wide almost five feet tall so this is a massive blanket like this this thing is huge really really nice I wanted it to be sized I did not want a blanket to be super tiny or regret making the decision of not doing it longer as I was knitting it up and it's just absolutely fantastic and wonderful. The yarn I used for this was Line Brand Hue and Me. I will put all the colorway names, but I used Desert as the main color. I used this one, see if I can remember. This one is Love Song. Love Song. See my peaks. Uh, this one is Biscotti. This one is Mustard. Arrowwood. Bellini? No, the other one's not Biscotti. Rosewater. Rosewater? Bellini. Again, I'll have them all below. But yes, absolutely adore this blanket. It knit up in last, I would say about two and a half weeks, I knit it up. I used US 15 needles. And it was just a really incredible and fun knit. I actually do want to make myself or our home another one because the girls love it. Eric loves it. 
and I do too. So I'm debating, they have the Hue and Me, they have some incredible blue colors that I am debating. Because I do, I do have some of the desert left because I actually ordered three extra skeins. I was afraid that I was going to run out. Midway through this, I was maybe doing my second skein or third, I can't remember. And I looked at my husband and I thought, I'm afraid to run out because I didn't really know from there how big I was going to make it, how much to gauge exactly where. So I went on the Lime Brand website and I ordered, I think, four extra skeins of desert. And I have enough yarn to make another blanket because I did get two contrast colors each, um, two skeins of each contrast color. So technically, I have enough to make another full identical blanket. But I think before I make this identical color, I would like all blues with this really fun sand desert. I think that that would just be stunning. There's a lot of gorgeous colors in the Hue and Me range um, from Lion Brand, which I adore. It was my first time working with this yarn, and I have to say, I'm in love. I love it. I want to make all the Canyon Mountain blankets, all the Canyon Mountain things out of the Hue and Me. Um, it is also a 80% acrylic, 20% wool blend. Amazing. It's soft. Um, the other question I was asked was, is it soft for a baby blanket and things in the yarn? Absolutely. Really love this yarn. I, I can't say good enough things. Like, I really, I really enjoyed it. Absolutely loved working on this. So today, I'm going to be weaving in all of the ends and hopefully potentially taking some photos for you all. But yes, so that is the Candy Mountain Blanket. That pattern will be coming out in September. Um, but I will put my line brand affiliate link down below if you want to go and purchase any Hue and Me. Affiliate links just mean that at no extra cost to you, I earn a small commission if you purchase through my links. So always appreciate any of your support um, and love. The next item that you will have seen, now this is, I finally picked it up again, is the Bubble Cardigan from Stephen West. Now this one, I switched it. This is a Longview Creations bucket tote. It's a little bit taller than my Jenna Rose, the small one. So I thought this was perfect because it is, it's going to be growing. And I was able to finally pick it up last night after a little bit of a hiatus because I really wanted to finish that blanket. I needed to finish the veggie socks. There was a few things I needed to get off of the needles. And where this is just a fun knit and there's no deadline, I just really wanted to have fun. I... Like I said, I did make a ton of progress, but I did make some. The last time we spoke, I was on this color, and I've now added that one, right? Tons of progress. <laughs> um, but like I said, now that the blanket is done, I can focus my energy on other items, which this is going to be one of them. Last night, I was working on it, and I do have to confess something. I think I made an error where they are. So these little bubble things, we'll put them that way, we'll call them bubble things. Um, it's either me or the pattern, but I think I started, so I don't want to give too much away, but I'm doing every four and then I do the bubble. But then when I looked at the back, it was every three and do the bubble. But then I think that Throughout the entire front, I did four in a bubble. And I want it to align because I am not willing to rip this out. Like, I do not want to rip it out. And it's not something that would make a massive difference at the end. Um, as long as I keep track and align my things, I think it's fine that I can just switch it. And that's the fun with also being a knitwear designer is that you can kind of map, map it out in your head as well and do these changes. So... That is what I think I'm going to do. Now I need to get to the same number of bubbles and then I can join it in the round. I will be steaking this cardigan, which means that I'm going to add extra stitches in the front so I can knit around and around and cut my work after rather than going um, knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl for the entire cardigan. I don't wanna do that, so we are gonna steak this. And yes, I will show the progress the whole way. 
This yarn I'm using is all Whitney of Moonglow. She had sent me the yarn last year for this um, pullover or cardigan, and I'm so embarrassed that it took me over a year to do it, but we are finally there. So right now I am working on, so these are the two fronts, and then I'm working on the back right now. So once the back is done, join, and then I will also add some extra stitches here to be able to steak the cardigan and work it in the round. I love the colors though. And the main color is going to be this dark brown, which dark brown, dark black gray, which is called um, black diamond. So this is going to be the all the ribbing. I love the colors. I love how it works up. I, I love everything about this. So I'm really hoping this week to put a big dent. My goal for next podcast is to join it all in the round. That is the goal for next time, which I'm hoping that I can do. I hope so. I think so. I think I can do it because I'm already one, two, three. I'm four bubbles in and I need, I think, 11. So I should be able to get this done and join it in the round for the next time. I am using US 5. Again, I will link my Ravelry project page down below with all of the colorway names uh, because I'm not 100% sure. I know that's Palest Peach, Cashmere Rose, Wild Orchid, Wild Orchid, The Gray for April Showers, and Haunted Rose. So Palest Peach, Haunted Rose, The Gray for April Showers, Think Wild Orchid, Cashmere Rose. So, and that's all for that one. I love it. And if anybody's wondering what these are, these are the cords that you put your work on, which are incredible. And I want to grab some for the shop because they are just fantastic. And I love them and I want them. So you slide them on and they stay. And then all you need to do is put your needle. There's like a little tiny hole and you put your needle in and you can slide your work. Genius. Genius, whoever whoever invented that. The next project that's on my needles is a brand new cast on. The next cast on is a fun, cozy Sunday hat, which is one of my designs that I think I designed maybe two and a half years ago, if not longer. And I haven't knit one up. I actually, sad story, I actually lost that hat. I was going to the gym in the mornings and for some odd reason, I think I left it at one of the gyms and somebody took it because it was never in the lost and found again. So hopefully someone out there is enjoying my cozy Sunday hat. I have gone back to the gym in that morning and like try to see if anybody was wearing it. Couldn't see anybody wearing it, but I would have been like, hmm, well, I don't think that's yours. Obviously. Um. So yes, but never found it. I have this in a bag from Maria. We actually have this exact one in the shop. We have four of these. Um, this is in the little peachy bag, which is her medium drawstring. Really, really nice. Also has a handle and tons of space in the inside. We have these bags right now in the shop if you want to go and grab them. I am knitting the Cozy Sunday hat out of Julie Asselin in her Melange numero 1 DK. This is a yarn that is so luxurious and I will be doing up kits for the hat pattern. So you will be able, hopefully if I can figure it out, you will be able to um, purchase the kit for the yarn and then um, purchase the hat pattern with it potentially. That's my hope, but the yarn is available right now. So if you already have the pattern or want to go get it separately and not miss out your chance on getting this kit, while I'm knitting it up, you can. Um, you need one skein of each. So these are 56 gram skeins. And these are the three colors that I'm using. I am using Joyful as my main color, but you can use any of the amazing, amazing yarns. So let me show those off to you. They come in these really pretty hanks. And they are 75% merino, 25% yak, 56 grams, 130 yards. And it is incredible. 
It's so soft and so squishy and just absolutely wonderful. I'm also debating if I'm able to make two hats out of this because Joyful, I'm using it up as my main color. And then I would debate if I can use one of the other two as the main color for a second hat, potentially. I cannot confirm yet um, because I may use up the entire Joyful. Not sure. But these are the three colors that I used and all three are available in the shop right now if you want to go snag some and knit along with me. Or you can wait um, and I will be making up some fun kits in the shop. So I already have everything skeined up or caked up, ready to go. And I've cast on yesterday. I didn't do much progress, but we we have we have it going. I'm knitting this, uh, the brim on a US 6, and then I will be knitting the full hat on a US 8, just like the pattern. And I love knitting a hat. This one, I'm hoping, this one will be done by the next podcast. This hat, usually I can get it done in a few days when I want to work on it, and I really love it. This yarn is incredible to work with. I've never used this type of blend before, a merino yak, and... <sighs> I'm 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 in love. Absolutely adore it. We have tons of these colors in stock right now, so they're all behind me. I even have my my chair keeps squeaking. I even have this beautiful green, which I think would be stunning. This yellow. We have like more of a mauvey purple, even those two together. Ooh. Like there's so many, so many incredible combinations. So all of those are available in the shop. You can make your own. You need one skein of each. So you'll need three skeins total for the hat. You also have the, like this fun clementine. Kind of match my nails a bit. Really love that color pop. Um, yeah, so all of those are available in the shop. And I'm hoping to have this fun hat done. I'm doing the smallest size because I have a tiny head. Sadly, I do not have a very big head, so I usually do all the smallest sizes for my hats, and um, they fit. A lot of the times the girl's hat will actually fit me as well, which is a little bit crazy, but it's just, just the way it is. So yes, I'm getting the smallest size, and I will also link my Ravelry project page down below this video. I actually received some mail this week. So my friend Sylvia of Camellia Fiber Company had came out in June with a beautiful and stunning colorway, um, all inspired for Pride Month. And some of the proceeds were going to that. And that is just something that um, I absolutely adore and um, I do support. So I also wanted to support her um, because she's an incredible dyer and a friend. She came out with this yarn and I was like, okay, fine, fine, I will buy some. So I purchased a sweater quantity. This one is called her Magic Rainbow Sprinkles. And it came today. It was a full pre-order in June. And it just arrived. So I ordered her CFC Merino Fingering, which is 100% Merino wool. 438 yards, 100 grams. And I ordered three of them. And all three arrived. And they are beautiful. So I love that it's a cream, but you have like these neon speckles all over. <gasps> like this neon yellow right here. I love the pop. I am debating using leftover yarns, hold, potentially even holding these double and doing some color block sweaters for the girls. Um, coming up with a fun cute design or something maybe, or just, I'm not sure. But I do know that I wanna make sweaters for the girls. Chloe loves pink, so I'll use like a pink as a contrast. Um, yeah, maybe even a fun little mini stripe sweater for the girls. I just really love it and think it's just so stinking cute. Um, so in my order when I received my package, I was like, this is a little bit bigger than I thought and was a little surprised. Um, Sylvia, the sweet, kind, incredible person she is, sent over some yarn for her brand new base. Now this one is incredible. So she calls it her Psalm DK SOM, which is a 42% baby alpaca, 8% merino, 50% Pima cotton, 164 yards per 50 grams. 
And she sent over three skeins in three different colors. This is Moonflower. This greeny is Lichen. And this one is Carnation. And it is just as fluffy, as amazing as it's showing up. Like this is just, wow. It seems as though it reminds me of like that wool folk where you have the um, cotton and it's just alpaca is blown in. It has that feel or look to it. And I'm thinking about making some hats uh, for the girls. I think that they would love that. So I'm thinking like the pink for Chloe, the greeny for Claire, potentially. And then maybe like a white for me. White hat. Don't know how, how that'll go. Um, or a fun little striped pullover. I'm not sure. I'm not really sure. But thank you, my friend. Um, I already sent you a message. But yes, these are incredible. I will link Sylvia's shop down below. And these are her brand new incredible base. And wow. I always sniff yarn. Do you sniff yarn? Let me know below. I sniff yarn everywhere. Get a package and I'm like, give me all the scent. Because I'm, I'm always curious, like, what will wash the hues or if it's like, smells like sheepies or like, I always love it. I know. I'm a bit odd. Thank you, friend. So that is everything I've been working on, everything I have been knitting on. Now, reading this week, I did finish two books. I finished um, Sarah Adams. I think it's Sarah Adams. Cheat Sheet. Now, this was a super cute, fun read. I will put a photo right here. This one I read literally in a day. It was so adorable, could not put it down. It is a closed door romance, which means that you don't see anything behind the doors. Like they don't write anything. So if you're into, if you're not into those spicy books, this is a great one for you. Absolutely adored it. Love the story, love the characters. It is a friends to lover romance and it's just such a fun and light read. Absolutely loved it. Um, gave it five stars because it was just so good. Now I also finished Agatha Christie, Body in the Library. I loved it, but I would only give this a three star. One of the reasons is there's so many characters that it was hard to keep track sometimes. I love books, I think, with more simple characters and not as many, because every time they would go somewhere, they would be introducing more characters and more characters and more characters. And I was getting overwhelmed every time because I love reading at night just for, you know, a few minutes, 30 minutes. So every time I would pick up my book, I'm like, oh yeah, who, who is that? Are they new? Are they not? So I liked it. I didn't love it. Let me know below. What do you think? Have you read that book before? Do you have the same opinion as me? Or I'm just curious. I want to continue this conversation in the comments and know what you guys also, let me know what you're reading right now because I love reading and sharing and I need some new books. I am all out and I need to go to my local library soon. All right, friends. I hope you all have a wonderful and fantastic day. I hope you enjoyed this podcast. And if you did, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Don't miss out on any fun new episodes. I upload a brand new video every single Thursday. And coming this fall, we will be switching back to a video, one video a week, every single Thursday. Because my twins are starting school. They're starting kindergarten, and I am becoming a stay-at-home mama again, which I am so excited for, but just means that I may have to cut back on one video a week. I hope you all understand and um, follow. want to come and follow me on this journey. If you want to see behind the scenes and vlogs, I will be starting to upload starting next week, one to two vlogs a month over on Patreon. These are going to be behind the scenes, family fun, the things that I do with the girls. So if you want to come and join, Air and Wait Tear It Up will be getting those exclusive vlogs. They will not be posted anywhere else on YouTube or um, Instagram. They will just be Patreon exclusive for Air and Wait Tear and Up. So I hope you all come and follow me on this fun new and journey. Thank you, friends. And until next time, happy knitting. Bye.